Now, welcome back. This is Steve Mama Helen and you all the way from Wari, Nigeria today. <laughs> you would agree with me for those of us who started off with us right from when this program uh, kick started. You would agree with me that it has been a wonderful one knowing that when you make yourself, uh, uh, should I say, available to get married in the area of preparedness, you are sure to somehow get married one day. But even if you aren't married yet, it's never too late for you because in any case, it is still God. You might have missed it. But God is always a second chance to God. And he would always create an avenue or an opportunity for you to meet your life partner someday. But go on serving him anyway. But here, we've talked about those things um, that could make women remain on the, on the hot plate, still are waiting for heaven to the eternity, and the need to get rid of those things. Now, at this segment, we want to be able to look into what a marriageable wood lady needs to look like. What, what, sh what is she supposed to do? How can she prepare for that man that she's looking out for? And then, of course, we still have our counselors in the house that will be helping us to do justice to that. Yes, Mama, I want to say thank you once again. And then to so our singles out there, if you want to be married, you want you must live a proper life. Live a proper life. What I mean by living a proper life mm. is some of us are carried away by what we receive from the opposite sex, and a woman has to keep her, you know, pride mm. sacrosanct to herself, waiting on the day of marriage. You see, God, the people will tell you that God had those days in tradition. And I, sometimes I want to see that tradition, there was an essence in doing that. Mm. Because the night of your wedding, your mother is a proud mother. Because that night um, is a night to break your virginity. Exactly. And, but if you have gone ahead to do it out of ignorance. Yes. The Bible said the days of ignorance the Lord will overlook. <laughs> and then you need to make restitution. How do you do that? By trying to, try to like you just said, that God is a God of second chance by trying to keep yourself and strive for holiness. You don't jump at every bird that comes, comes your away. way. Good. You, know. you don't jump at every bird that, that comes, comes your away. way. Fantastic. Because um, what love means to a man is sex. But what love means to a woman is the feelings that you have. That's right. A woman needs to be appreciated. And then a man comes around you, he's appreciated. You don't be carried away. You must draw between the lines. Mm. Some are just there be, to give you gift for what they want you to, to want to receive, receive from, you. from you. Some do it because it's from their hearts. They want to do it. Some also come around you to give you gift because they feel something for you. Mm. Not because they want to marry, marry, because they feel something for you as a human, human being. being. And so they see that you need help and they're there to help you. But sometimes you see, women are carried away by what, mm -hmm. by what they receive. Mm -hmm. And then the moment they see that, they begin to flirt around the man mm -hmm. and begin to give uh, signals to the man and welcoming signals. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some men, if you give to them, they will catch it, so you know, very fast. <laughs> and the moment they test what they want to buy and they see <laughs> that it's oversized <laughs> or the size is not adequate, <laughs> they will not come. 
That will be the end of it. Yes, they won't come again. In other words, what she's just told us here now is that don't stop hopping into bed. A man approaches you and says he wants to marry you, and then the next thing is, boom, you open up. You see, there are so many things that a man look out for in a woman. If I'm speaking the mind of the men here that are here, you find that first thing that a man looks out for is a woman that is modest. A woman that is modest. A courteous woman. Courteous. You know, so that he'll be proud of his wife. You know, that's why we don't need to do things. Men, men don't want to men, men don't want to go to a party and by the time he gets there he finds out that most men in that party have slept with their wife. <laughs> no no man no wants to go through that, right? Yes. It, it may not necessarily be <laughs> sleeping, but if you become over, you know, popular with men, you know, that means you've been partying. Party. <laughs> you go, you jump from one party to the other, and so you seem to be in their clique. Yes. The man will just be put off. Completely. Then when you try to be over assuming, you with a, a man watches every move you're making. Exactly. And you want to over assume, you want to dictate for the man. You want to take decisions. You've not even come in, you want to dictate for the man. The man will quickly will take the next door exit out. That's right. You know. And also want to use this opportunity to also chip it to the married women. It's for you to suggest to your husband. You don't yeah. have any right to take decisions true. for the man. So true. Yes, that's it. You so just suggest. True. And then you allow the man. The, to have the A man husband. does not want a mother for a wife. No. <laughs> so he don't begin to play mother the role of him. a mother in his life. He, he has had enough Becomes of his mother. Becomes a teacher. Yes. <laughs> no, you, you could model him, but not a mother. mother. You, you, you feel that he cannot take decisions. He will make mistakes. If he makes a mistake, leave him at that. Pray him. He will pray pick him it up. Mistake. And it will continue. You pray him out. You just, just there. Pray for him. Exactly. Then, a woman <laughs> must have courage. You want to marry, you must have courage. The way you awesome. carry yourself, you must carry yourself first before you expect the other person to carry you. So true. You do things, you will, I, I, when I go for marriage counseling, I do, I, especially to married women, I yes. tell them if I see a woman that is happy, I know. No. How? The way you walk. Exactly. You know, so just walking like that and you <laughs> want a man, no man is interested in such. So a true. woman is supposed to pack herself. Properly. Yes, you pack yourself. Be a lady. Yeah. I think that's what she's trying to say. Yes. Be, try and be a lady. Try yeah. and be a lady. Pack yourself, you know, put value on you then the way you, you you mind the way you talk exactly. then you must be a serious minded person mm -hmm. what i mean you must try your hands on something that's right because you look at the virtuous woman she's she's a she's a trader she's a seamstress a fashion designer a school a runner Everything. a servant house help <laughs> you know so when the man sees all this packaged in you You'll find that that you become a hot cake. So true. Every oh. man will be gone in because for you. no man wants a liability. The marriage, eh? of, the man the goes marriage out of convenience. Okay. <laughs> the, the man goes out from morning to night. Here you are snoring. You are saying like they don't break. <laughs> I mean you're sleeping all through. Yeah. Come on, and you a have woman, to get your hands a woman it should to be something. orderly. Everything you do, you must do with specification. specification. You know, like when uh, we in one in one of the episodes we talked about, yes. uh, you know, your husband coming in, he throws his tie and all this. It's your duty to begin to package the home, and that's why when you enter a home where there is a woman, there's always a signal that yes, there is a woman in this home. But when you come, everywhere is upside down. Upside down. The, the, maybe the man just tries to just pay you a surprise visit, visit, and then in the morning you are coming out. And the man, man says, no, smelling. this was not the woman I saw yesterday. Some don't even use mat wash. I mean, see, a woman... <laughs> 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 I don't know. No, it, it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, for you to say you're a lady, and a man gets very close talking to you, it and the away. mouth is... Eh? It's it's just a body. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is just booming. <laughs> I mean, the, the man will just say, boop, 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 boop. 
would have to dream and say, oh my God, I think something is wrong in the hair. <laughs> Looks for one reason or the other to move back. I mean, so definitely can that cannot be. What about using roll on? Yes. You know, that is a simple thing in the market. Body spray. A little bit body spray. Yes, if perfume is too expensive. At Go ahead, darling. Yes. But see, you know, <laughs> some of these young girls, because they are looking for, they use it. The moment they get married, you know, we're just <laughs> cutting it. They no longer use it. So that thing, that first love, that thing the man sees in you the first time. It's no more know, there. It's no more there. You begin to complain. You the man is tired. You become, you become boring to him. You know, I keep telling, I mean, I mean, no. even at 70, come on. You can still look good. You can still look good. Isn't it's true. It? I mean, I, I have difficulty believing that people, you know, for anyone at all, to think that they have to look very shabby and yet expect something good to come. And you have to dress the way you want to be addressed. I think that is the whole essence of it. Now, you're a young lady. I'm sure you must be itchy right now. You want to <laughs> say something. Say okay, something. Yes. Uh, I think she has really said a lot. She has okay. said most of everything. This is a magazine I wrote, and in a page of feeds, you have a column saying why I'm not married. So most of the things discovered that she has even said them. But in addition to what she said, I want to say that we have to also know the masculine and the feminine nature, who a woman is and who a man is. So if you know who a man is and who a woman is, you know what they desire, what they need. And so you know how to deliver, how to give it to them. Mama said something. She said, a man feels that when you have sex with him, that means you love him. But the woman does not feel that way. So as a man, you want to get married, you have to know the feminine nature. And as a woman, you need to know the, femi the masculine nature as well, his ego. You don't have to be on top. You have to suggest. You don't, you don't take decisions. You are just there to suggest. But, but, but at the time, you, know, you, are not, you, are, you are not married yet. So <laughs> I just chipped in that one. Even you are in, not married even yet, in a relationship. so you don't, even, you don't even need to suggest. But, uh, okay, we are talking of yes. relationship. Yes. Now, we are talking of a situation why you are already at the age of marriage mm -hmm. and no man is coming. That, you why say is, that. Why are the men not coming? Coming. Why are the men not coming? Why are they Package not coming? yourself. Look exactly. good. You know, don't look like an old woman. You are 25 and you're already looking 40. Mama, you know? a man can wrinkles, also run away from you. Wrinkles all when... over you. <laughs> your, your, your wrinkles, we, we can even take, we can take a tape rule. <laughs> I measure the, the wrinkle all over you because you, you're so stressed. Some, some ladies, don't, they don't know that they need to, you know, take a bath twice a day, at least twice a day. Some don't even brush before they go to bed. Huh? Some don't know that they have to wash properly, you know. You have to. I mean, there are certain things you must learn to do. No, mama, it, mama, it's... mama. At this stage, you know, the man has no opportunity to see all that. But then it will start reflecting. Yeah, but, but we are you teaching know, because them because the, the old blood, everything will look like uh, mama rubo. That can, <laughs> I mean, so looking very aged, you know, aged and everything. I mean, I get really tired when young lady had struggling to become whole <laughs> and the ones the young ones those young boys out there calling them auntie <laughs> i mean somebody is already calling you auntie cannot marry you right you know i mean because you so you, you made a step line see, before no no see mommy uh one thing i want to chip in here too okay. is religion okay you see religion has a role to play in this okay why you find that the most women that have reached the age of marriage are not married some sets their doctrines and their belief we are talking about dressing dressing you know I, I i was opportune to cancel a woman this is a married woman and then she was putting on turtleneck and long sleeve and all this and then there's um there's this popular road by the estate there yes. they call the quality hero okay and she was coming back from evening service she drove past and saw okay. her husband's jeep by okay. the quality Inn. So before she could navigate and got a space to park and come that the husband was walking out of quality in with, uh, with those babes and then oh, Jesus. and when she got there she asked the husband daddy what are you doing here the husband said exactly what you saw so. <laughs> she went back to her pastor the pastor followed her immediately with the bible and all that before they got on the man was there 
The man said, yes, pastor, welcome. What can I offer? Okay. He said, no, daddy, I didn't come for that. He started opening scriptures. The man, when he finished, the man said, pastor, are you married? He said, are you happy? He said, do you mind taking this your member to join your wife? <laughs> because I have a right to be happy. happy. Mm. You know, so what are we trying to say? You know, some mm. of us are so religious Just. that we tie our ear. The ear, nobody can see, see? it. The face, you tie all <laughs> here, everywhere, it's covered. <laughs> and you want to marry. <laughs> Who is coming to marry that kind of a person? You need a man too that is going to wear long sleeve and wear hand gloves to come and marry you. So those are some of the things, you know. Fantastic. Yes. Oh you, my God. That's where you are talking about, you know, women struggling to be old. old. I'm young, I got wear a maxi that is covering mm. me to the leg. Eh? You don't need that. When I was in the university, I had a friend, <laughs> a, a married woman, and then uh, her, her skirt is always on her knee, by okay. her knee. Okay. It doesn't extend. extend. And she, she got, I, I got attracted to her, so mm. she loved me. She used to take me home. She mm. was married, and okay. the husband was quite rich. Mm. And so one day we were going out, and she wore something, you know, little down. down. And the husband called her and said, My dear, if you know you want to go out, go back in there yeah. and, and change. change. If you don't know what I love in you, it's at your legs. Oh. You see, so what is attracting the woman is not the face, so it's not her shape, it's her legs. It's her legs. So the husband said, I love seeing I those, legs. See those legs. You know, but now you're wearing a maxi, a turtleneck, and all that. How is not going to see it? And you want a husband? Fantastic. Isn't this awesome? Isn't this awesome? I mean, I, I think I, this is it. This is it for me. This is it for me. I want to believe that somebody is out there, your young lady. And you're being blessed by this you know the right thing to do just email us send out a text and let us know how this program is really blessing you We've said so much about the preparedness of our women. Yes. What about the men? What are the things, well, the young ones out there? Because you see, you see, brother, all he does is to fast 24 seven and pray, which is good. You must fast, you must pray, you must read the word of God. But after doing all that, there are certain things that you must also do as a man. Yes, as a man, you must also strive to look good. That's one thing you need to do. You must always also put up a little pep, you know. But I love men that are masculine. <laughs> you must be firm. Fem. You know, you don't you don't go in for anything any woman says. You know, they change okay. your, your decisions Anyhow. like that. You must be firm in whatever you're doing. And then you must hold your head high. Huh. Because God, I, I used to tell people, I said, the day God created man, he created ego. I, I, and I don't like a man that does not know who he is yes. as a man. So You're on top. You have dominion. That's the truth. And so you should present those characteristics that you are strong. Mm -hmm. And so a woman that is coming into your life should look at you like somebody who is strong. Right. Somebody that can stand to defend. Because you find that, that even in the registries, you know, after the joining of uh, both couple, couple. Uh, the woman is said to go to the left hand side of the man. It's, it's symbolic and it's significant. And then we do it in church as well. What is it? What are we trying to tell the man? You stand to defend the cause of this, you have, this mm. vow you have taken. And so at every point in time, you fight with your right hand while you defend. You shield your wife and your children from the criticisms of the world. So if you open your doors, mm. anybody can come. come. So that means a man is of strength. So any man that is ready to marry, should present those features that is, is responsive and is, he has strength, Great. he has ego, he, he has his head to keep high. And so those are some of the things you look out for in a man. In a man. But when you are talking of tidiness, it is for the woman to come and do so because most men don't have time for that. All they just need to do is take care of their bodies and look good. And look good. Yes. Fantastic. A man must be a man indeed. Not just in words, but a man indeed. That's what we heard. Now, you're a young lady, you're beautiful, you're smart. What would you like in a man? Yes, a man 
should be bold. Like, you know, today in our society, we discover that some men, they are not bold. They cannot approach your sister. They are scared. So you need to put away fear. Fear is one thing that a man needs to put aside. Yeah, yeah. So, and, 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 and approach the sister. Yes. yes, that's number one thing. Good. Yes. What a, go ahead. Other are features, other like, you know, you have to be busy as well. You see, some men today, young men, they don't want to do anything. They just, they are relaxed. Like you said, you mentioned earlier on, they're, they're looking up, they're looking, looking for ladies that are well to do so that they can attach themselves. But you don't need to do that as a man. Whatever you find, your hands find to do, the Lord will bless. Do it. So and just God will do bless it. You. you may not have a job, but at least just look for something to do. It will it's, it's really help to go a long way. Two. So, yes. Number two. Number three. Yes, number three, um, you have to identify your place in the kingdom of God. The very, kingdom of God. Very important. I think that should be the top of it. Yeah, exactly, yes. Very, very important. You have to identify your place because if you don't know your place, you, you, you'll be lost. you get married to the wrong person and at the end of the day, you have a troubled home. So you need to know your place the kingdom of God. You need to know your place mm. in the kingdom of God. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Knowing your place means you need a you, man that has the fear of, of God. God. Not knowing your place in the kingdom of God. It could be a committed uh, church member, but you don't of have Goa. the fear of God. No, <laughs> no, no committed <laughs> church member. <laughs> when you talk of uh, uh, technical, yeah. is there? Is there? You talk of choir, is there. is there. You talk of this, is there. But it doesn't have the fear of God. Mm. So the fear of God is the beginning, the of, beginning wisdom. of wisdom. So what, what do you look out for as a young guy is most look out for a, a man mm. that has the fear yeah. of God. Because okay. the Bible says the man is the priest of his family. Spanish. That's so it. He, he will stand to lead the family altar. altar. You know, not you now be doing all for him. Uh -huh. and then, yes. He's you are the priest. ones who bind the demon. That's and why I said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it's time to pray, he says, Where, uh, Angela, say, say your own and say, for <laughs> pray, for the, pray for the family. Pray for, the, uh, pray for everyone. Don't, don't forget uh, my business. I, I, I'm going for a business contract. Um, uh, pray, pray, pray that I want to. <laughs> and so on and so forth. But it is expected of a man to take over yes. the priesthood yes. of his home. Must initiate the aspect of prayer. Even if you cannot pray as much as your wife will do, but at least be let, let it be seen of that yes, let it be seen that you really love God well enough yes. to always talk with, with yes. him at all times. But see. As a believer, you know you cannot marry an a unbeliever. Isn't that? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Mama, sometimes when you talk of those issues, I keep silent. Who is a believer? Who is not? Who is an unbeliever? The one that is in church that is not doing the will of God. And the one that fears God. You see, there's, there's, there is a, a line. This is my father, and that man is my father. They are not the same. Most of us in church see God as that man is my father. Why most of us see him as this, this is, is because of the adoption into sonship. You become a son when you, you know, there are people that will come to Papa, they are his sons. His sons. They know what Papa likes, and they, they know what he can do. So whether Papa is in worry or, not. or Papa is out of the nation, they know what their father wants and they That's want to abide by what their father does. That's the truth. Is that what we call or not a believer? Mm. But when we see the church, you say, I, I, I accept Jesus as my Lord mm. and personal mm. Savior. He said, As far as he's a born again Christian, Christian. He said, you marry some of them are living in hell. So true. Mama, if you go to the law courts and I always talk to the church, it pains my heart. If you have 10 divorce cases lying up. In the office of the job, eight out of the ten are Christians. So what happened to their belief? Hmm. Are they? Are you not calling those ones believers? Hmm. Those that are not ready to stand, to deny, to do self denial and carry the cross, because your marriage is your cross. So true. So whatever you see, marriage is your cross. So you need to carry it and follow Jesus. So true. And at the end, there's victory. So when we talk of believers and unbelievers, we believe that as many that say they are born again are children of God, you marry them. But here we also want to ask... Christ-like. 
Yes. That's what we're you, talking about here. It's not just if if I may come in. It's yes. not it's not just about you professing That's that you're a Christian, but it is it's you living a Christian, a Christian life. life that governs every aspect of your what you say, what you do, how you do it, and so on and so forth. That's what makes you a, a Christian. Christian. And so marrying someone should mean marrying someone who is a Christian. Not because he goes to church, but because he's really received Christ as his law and as a vice versa, as a matter of fact. It has been on Mama Helen and you. We can go on forever. So much to say, as you can see, our counselors are very much ready to give you as much possible, no matter how long it takes. But we have to draw the curtain today. But you know what to do. All you need to do, send us those questions, those mind bubbling questions that are going through your mind and you can be rest assured that it will be attended to. We've been told not to seek for fame or money, but to seek for the real thing, which is relationship. When I married my husband, I married Hayo. I didn't marry Pastor, Pastor. Hayo. It was after marriage that I now know fine. I married a pastor. You know, I mean, I didn't marry him for anything else. I was already doing extremely well as a single lady before I met my husband. Every, all my our desire was to come in and contribute, had value to him. And that I've always I've been doing since I've married my husband. <laughs> a marriageable woman is ever seeking how to add value to the man that comes across her not someone who is thinking about what she can get out of that man at all times. We must all be guarded by the principle of honesty and sincerity as we deal. Now, also, you need to keep yourself. We've been told on the need to always make ourselves very marriageable in the way we look, in our appearance, the need to make sure we do not look like old women, even though we're in our 20s. You can do that, religion or no religion. You can still look good for the Lord. And God is not against you looking good for the Lord. Because the man that is intending to marry you, men, by the way, are sight stimulated. Men love what they see. Yes. Everything else comes after. But they, what they see is what they gravitate after. So if you don't make yourself presentable, sweetheart, you're out of the way. Even when you're married, you might don't take that man for granted and say, well, because I've married him, so I can look shabby. Sweetheart, he's going to look for that Totoroto. <laughs> who is going to make him feel a man. You know, so we must have all these things at the back of our minds. For those young ones who are still out there yet to be married, don't lose hope. And don't lose your self-worth and confidence thinking that the only way you can have notoriety in life is when you bear missus. Seek that bearing of missus very well so that you don't have yourself being referred to as X one day. Look out for the right man and of course that man out there, look out for the right woman. It is my wish that you will always find the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. It is still Mama Helen and you. Thank you for being with us today. And we look forward to joining you again in more of our episodes to come. ABN is still a station to continue to watch. Never stop watching ABN. And never stop watching Mama Helen and you.